Hello everyone, uh, this is Video Bento. I'm Cassidy. I'm Chris. Hey guys. Yeah, and uh, this is the show about Japanese video games that never made it to the United States. Uh, we're going to look at a bunch of Famicom games, eventually Super Famicom, and uh, maybe even, you know... Is it only video games that never made it to the States? Like 100% or do you think we could make an addendum? We, we might have like a little extras here and there about games that, you know, were different in the Japanese version later on down the road. But for right now, yeah, we're, we're just going to start out with games that uh, nobody knows about. I don't know about them. Um, but Chris here, you grew up with uh, some of these games. So the first game we're going to look at is, um, what's the title of this game, Chris? This is Makaijima, but uh, earlier I was trying to explain to Cassidy what the hell this is, and I kept saying Makai To. And uh, the symbol, I mean, it could be either Shima or To, but yeah, I was incorrect about that. It's Makaijima, and Makai means uh, hell, and Shima is island. Oh, okay, hell island. Yeah. Yeah, you ever but this this game is all about pirates, so I never picked up on the on the demonic hell part. Or maybe I just didn't get to that level. Well, maybe... You know what Jean-Paul Sartre says is, uh, hell is other people, right? And if you're a pirate, it's like, oh no. I think James Brown said, hell yeah. Yeah, he also said that. <laughs> God, I don't think, uh, first of all, I botched that guy's name, uh, I'm pretty sure, but whatever. I'll probably cut that out. Sartre. Sartre. Uh, Some editing in the first segment. Oh, dude, yeah, I'm gonna edit the shit out of this. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Back to uh, this game. I'm gonna call it Higemaru for short. Higemaru? Is that? Higemaru, yeah. Higemaru? Okay. Yeah, Hige means mustache. But the reason why, really? Yeah. Oh, Hige means mustache. Hige, yeah. Sure. Okay. But I'm sure that if you look at right. the kanji character, it's it's not going to mean mustache. That would be super weird. Right. Um, okay, so Higamaru. Uh, the reason why I pulled this game out is because it's made by Capcom. Capcom! They used to make good games. This game in particular was uh, designed by... Masayoshi Kurao. And Cassidy just looked this up. I so, just looked this up. Like, so this is for sure. The most intel I could get about this game, there's not a lot of intel out there. Um, it, Masayoshi Kurukawa was the designer. He did. He would later go on to do work for Mega Man 3, my personal favorite Mega Man, mm. uh, and Chippendale's Rescue Rangers. Which, Love Mega Man. Yeah, Chippendale's is kind of a weird game. It was a little too easy, but it's for kids. But Mega Man 3... A lot of people say Mega Man 2, Mega Man 3. That's Chippendales, that's not the one with the dudes with their shirts off? No, that's uh, Cho Anuki. Oh, fuck. Yeah. All right, and then the music composer was Harumi Fujita. Is that how I pronounce it? I pronounce it? Uh, ha Harumi Fujita. Uh, okay, okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Who did I music for- I got a for... Japanese accent for the rest of the- Dude, that's why you're here. That's why you draw a paycheck. Um, <laughs> Future paycheck. We accept bitcoins. Yeah. Because we're edgy. God, no, we don't accept bitcoins. Okay, so composer is uh, Harumi Fujita. Fujita. Bionic Commando and Gargoyle's Quest. I don't know, with Gargoyle's Quest? Okay, Bionic Commando. Great, great music. Mm -hmm. Bionic Commando. Gargoyle's Quest, also really good music. Really dark. Really? Yeah! Actually, some of it is, um, just kind of, I mean, for Game Boy music, you know, keep in mind you're a six-year-old kid or seven-year-old kid. But, like, yeah, some of it's kind of, uh... I mean, I was playing that game in the back of the bus and just totally zoning out. I would just be blasting the Game Boy. I don't think I ever used earphones. Oh, you gotta use earphones. Yeah, does that help a lot more? The music, yeah. I mean, there's a lot going on in the, the mm -hmm. soundtrack for Gargoyle's Quest. It's really, um... I feel like if I had earphones and I was in the back of the school bus, you know, people would just mess on me. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. Last detail about this game. Uh, it came out in 1987. Uh, April 1987 in Japan. I was five. Never made it to the States. You were five? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would have been... I would have been five. Oh, yeah? All right. Yep. Uh, okay, so should we get started, Chris? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do this. Game. 
start. Well, hey, I like this title screen. So we start with 1,000 points? That's pretty generous. Yeah, well, you know, you got maybe it's gold? I don't know. I mean, have you, you've played this game. Is it, is it gold? Is it's it been gold? so many years. It's been so many years. I don't know what the one's All right, so already I figured out that if I hold down the A button, I'll sail fast. Faster, okay, I like also, it. Also, there seems to be like a region in which, like, stop, like, this is your zone of yeah. whatever. Okay, so. It's weird that, like, they can, they can just put up a border or something. They just tell you, you must stop right now. Also, goddamn, this game really just sort of like, threw us into the deep end. <laughs> if I'm on Get it? Oh. What's that say? Kangi wa nakere ba tobira wa... If you don't have a key, you cannot open a door. Boom! Platitude in your face. Oh, so this game's kind of philosophical. If you do not have a key, Well, you we're wise open enough to have a philosophical reception. Yeah, uh, can we get here? So... That should work. And once again, if you don't have a key, you cannot enter. You cannot end. All right, well, we'll find something eventually, right? Uh, oh God. Oh, there you go. Well, that's something. That's a green boat. <gasps> Pirates. Oh God. Yes. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. sound is so ridiculous. Oh, what's he telling us? Biado no takara ga hoshikero. If you want beards, treasure, uh, you must collect uh, three pieces of uh, sekibun. Sekibun has, I think, it has something to do with coal. So you need to uh, collect three, you know, rock things. If you want three, sound like you said beards. He's not Captain Beard. He's just Beard. That's his name, Beard. <laughs> yeah, it's just Beard. Okay, so a guy named Beard says we need three pieces. What do you think of the music so far? I like it, it's kind of relaxing. Yeah, but also I'm kind of tuning it out at the same time because I feel like I don't want to find out when it repeats itself and that's when it's going to drive me crazy. Yeah. Um, so one thing I'm, I'm kind of noticing is how large this world map is. It's pretty big. It's already pretty big. Oh, and, uh, or yeah, it's, repeating it. it's repeating itself, right? Because we were here. Possibly. All right. So I don't know, they should provide a mini map or something to kind of well, I haven't... give you a sense of where you're going. That's the start. That start sound? Listen Pause. again. Pause. God. What we're going through now is just, just sort of like it's kind of we have to figure our out heads into the wall. right exactly. Yeah. We have to bang our this is the bang our heads against the wall phase. Yeah. God damn. Okay, so it's also kind of it's because the world is round and I keep you know coming across a looping segment. It's kind of yeah. hard for me to figure out. Well, this so this might be why I didn't finish this game. <laughs> Well, that one looks different. That's a different ship. Uh, that's with the same ship. Same guy with the same fucking fat ass with a beard. I mean, can I go in his little doorway? No, he. Oh. And he... Oh no, he's saying different shit. So if you ignite the candle, mm -hmm. uh, the um. There's a skull, and then there's something about the skull that unlocks. It, it melts. So what you have to do is um, you have to ignite the candle. You must light it up. Okay. I have to light a candle. You got to light a candle. Oh, oh. That's a pirate ship. Oh. Now some action. Action. The oh, gameplay so is one, occurring. The 1,000 is your life. That's your life point. Okay. Shit. Shit. I, I need... Oh man! Oh, oh oh oh! So you crush the, you crush the enemies with the barrels, and those are probably whiskey barrels. Fuck yeah! Okay. Oh oh shit! Pirates are just drunk all. The There's time. a whole new screen. It's that's the Mega Man engine right there. there you go. That's Mega Man. You definitely got to get into that treasure chest. Yeah, but fuck! Like there there might be a key or something hidden under one of the whiskey barrels. Oh no! It's a heart. Like that's my that's life again. Oh yeah! All right. 
So what kind of kid, I don't know, what kind of pirate am I supposed to be that my main weapon is barrels? You look more like an American sailor. Yeah. You got that whole white and blue thing down. I gotta be honest, I think I look like a blue version of uh, Link. Oh, I can see that. Pow. Pow. Dude, did I just get like 2,000 oh. life? I feel like Pow is pretty ubiquitous during this time. Oh, well, yeah, Pow is a Capcom thing. I mean, like, there were yeah. there are Capcom games that they'd have, like, the Pow, they'd have, like, the weird little origami. Mm. Uh, yeah. Oh, a boss. There you go. That guy looks pretty cool. Oh, shit. Take that, you asshole. Oh, shit. Yes. I totally remember this guy. Well, wait a minute. Wouldn't he be, like, totally vulnerable from the side? Yeah. Okay, oh, I guess no. not. Okay. When I run out of uh, barrels, gonna I'm gonna be in trouble. Fuck. I even like blink. You get one hit in. I even blink like a uh, link. Blink mm -hmm. like link. Yeah, he does. Fuck. Oh, give me a break, game. Okay, this is actually not very easy. No, nah, it's fucking hard. Chris, I'm gonna die. Hitboxes need to, some work. No! I died. Game over, man. Boo! Fuck, we have to do that again? All right, welcome to Adventure World. Shirt. I need a drink. Welcome. So can we just bypass the first guy named Beard and just go straight to Captain Beard? Yeah, except I can't remember how I found him. I feel like it was just by chance. Stop. Okay, so it only loops left or right. Yeah. I'm sorry, it only loops top. Top Wait, down. Yeah. Yeah. Three, two. It only loops top uh. and down. <laughs> well, I just want to find that pirate ship again, because I, to be honest, like yeah, one of the finding that boss is actually kind of fun. Oh, I, I saw the guy. So that's the green dude. Wait a minute, he's like on a patrol path. But I mean, this is just, just this guy. Yeah. But. Maybe you have to see him first was... to unlock the next ship. Ooh. Games were kind of fucked up like that back in the day. Yeah. Um, kind of like Jaws, I don't know. Mm. But. Where you do have to jump through the fucking loops. Yeah. In order to get to. Yeah. The, the next conversation. We might have to... Right, or... The fact that there's any boat traffic at all... Um... It's just like, maybe this is where it's at. Like, this is a happening place. I'm boat traffic sounds like a good euphemism for, you know... How many dudes are in this bar right now? Yeah. What's the boat traffic? Here? Yeah, what's the boat traffic like? Yeah, man. Uh, do we have... Are we talking a lot of dinghies? <laughs> Already. Oh, Already, and like nothing interesting it's happened. Slow. Fuck. <laughs> All right, you know what? I don't think we should activate the Linux until. We find something. <laughs> Until we fucking find something. Because <laughs> this is fucked.